the type of consolidation how do they look like on chest radiograph so figure a this is a normal this is a normal uh, magnified view of the chest on x ray whereas in the second image b what do you see you see these radio opacities in the lung and in between them you see these black black lines these are air bronchograms okay air bronchograms and they tell you that it is an alveolar pathology or a consolidation now again another example of interstitial opacities these linear fine branching opacities that you see in both the lungs these tell you that they are interstitial opacities and similarly in the lower lobe you see this honeycombing okay this honeycombing also signify that it is an interstitial pathology okay now finally a consolidation uh, in the second image we see that there is this ill defined fluffy opacity in the right lower zone and again you see an air bronchogram within so this is a consolidation okay so at this point i'd like to tell you uh, something about silhouette sign silhouette sign okay so it is a very important sign in radiology given by dr felsen and uh, what does it what it essentially tells you that if any lung pathology if any lung pathology is an anatomical contact with a mediastinal structure with a mediastinal structure and it is of the same density as that of that mediastinal structure so it will obscure its border okay so for example this is the trachea the right and the left and this is the right lung and this is the left lung and in between that you have the heart so what dr felsen says while describing a silhouette sign is that any pathology which is in direct anatomical contact with that mediastinum so that border of the mediastinum will get obscured so for example if it is a right middle zone pathology okay so if it's a right middle lobe pathology right middle lobe so we know that the right middle lobe is in anatomical contact with the right heart border so any pathology of the right right middle lobe will obscure the right heart border right and if it is a pathology which is not in continuity with the mediastinum it is not in contiguity with that mediastinal structure it will not obscure its border so for example if it is again if it is uh, again a pathology of the right lower lobe a pathology of the right lower lobe okay the right lower lobe extends upper tak right but in that case it will not obscure the right heart border and this is a very important sign it tells you where the pathology actually is so again we'll see an example of this we see that there is a consolidation in the right middle and lower zone which is obscuring the right heart border the right heart border is seen only till here so it means that this pathology or consolidation is in the right middle lobe fair enough whereas in this first image a image we see that there are these fluffy cloudy opacities coalescing into each other so this is a type of consolidation right consolidation and it is obscuring the left hemidiaphragm the left hemidiaphragm is not seen whereas whereas the left heart border is seen okay so it means that this pathology or this consolidation is in the left lower lobe 